It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Game Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with the man with the plan, he doesn't mess around, chief investment officer, and my father. Good morning, Bob Payne. How you doing, Dad? What's shaking on I'm this? doing great, Ryan. How you doing? Good to talk to you. Hey, it's always good to talk to you. I probably talk to you about uh, 10 times a day. <laughs> well, it's nice to do it on national radio. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You get the public in on our conversations. I mean, it's... Uh, <laughs> Who it's wouldn't want to be a needs, fly on Bob. that wall, sir? <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, I got a little bit of uh, financial trivia for you this morning or some fun facts about money. All right. A recent study came out on the average total compensation that an S&P 500 CEO made in 2017. Do you want to guess what the average compensation that a Fortune 500 or an S&P 500 company CEO made last year? Well, you always see these headlines about, you know, a CEO making 30, 40, 50, 100 million, you know, because a stock went up and the options, uh, you know, have great leverage, but I'm going to say the average was probably around eight to nine million. That's actually not too far off. It's actually thirteen point <laughs> nine four million, so close to fourteen million a year, which it's not too shabby. A million a month is a good deal. It's a pretty good deal, but you have to pay taxes on half of it. So uh, well, there's uh. the rub. That's why I don't want it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Not not for me. Not for me. It's only no. seven million after tax. You know, what's <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to discuss financial maladies you might have and give you the right prescription to make sure your retirement's on track. We're going to talk about Mick Jagger. Yes, Sir Mick. He's estimated to be worth over $360 million. We can probably learn a couple things from the infamous Glimmer Twin when it comes to your money. We're going to dissect some of his wiser statements and see how we can apply that to your planning and investing. Along with this week's financial pornography, there's a lot of stuff out there in the news, media, you need to avoid. And we have another pain on the show today. We have Chris Payne, my brother, Bob's son. He's going to talk about a real retirement plan he worked on. Just talk about some tips, some strategies you can use to make sure that you're financially secure. So let's get right to it. Let's talk about what the doctor ordered. So Bob... I'm going to give you some symptoms that we see on a daily basis in our practice, and let's discuss some common financial prescriptions we'd write for each case. And one of them is, and you'd probably call this not being able to, to go to the sleep point with your portfolio, a lot of people complain about losing sleep because they're worried about their money. Well, you know, first of all, right, I'm always concerned when I go to the doctor because they're practicing medicine. I want to go to somebody who's already figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm more in the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it is. But anyway, you know, if you're losing sleep because you know you're gonna retire soon, you're worried about that income gap, I gotta imagine you have an enormous amount of stress. What do you think, Ray? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think it is a very stressful thing, especially if you've been working your whole life and now you're gonna cross this precipice where you're gonna be dependent on your portfolio. And let's face it, financial assets are volatile. They fluctuate every day. There's just so many reasons to be unsettled about your finances and living off them. And of course, there's a great unknown, right? I mean, what's your lifestyle going to be? What's going to happen with inflation? What's going to happen with taxes? What's your health going to be like? So I can see where that's very stressful. And do you know what the number one way to overcome stress happens to be? Bob, I assume you're going to say drinking, but <laughs> I don't know if we should talk about that on the show. That's actually the most popular solution, but it doesn't solve anything. <laughs> We found that the number one way to overcome stress is to take action. Now, what should this patient do to overcome this sleep apnea? At the end of the day, just a baseline retirement plan, which sounds overwhelming, right? Financial planning does not sound like something that's fun. It does not sound like something that you want to sit down and actually do. But to your point, Bob, I mean, I think a step-by-step -step process to make it easy, and I think the first place to start is simply putting together a budget, right? That's yep. number one. Mm -hmm. Number two would be inventory, your assets, inventory, your 
your income streams, right? What passive income streams are you entitled to? Social security, right? Do you have a pension? Are there any inheritance in your future, right? These are things that you want to know about. Yeah. And then it's just what we call filling in that income gap because at the end of the day, you're going to stop working. The spigot's going to be turned off. So the money's not coming in anymore. And then you turn on things like social security, which let's face it, that's not going to cover your lifestyle. So you have to figure out where is that hole that I have to fill and how am I going to use my financial assets to fill that hole? Yeah. So, you know, the solution is as simple as A to B, right? Figure out what you need to do to get from point A, where you are now, point B, your goals, your dreams, and your values. And a good fiduciary can help you with that. And that all sounds great, Bob. But the other symptom we find a lot of patients have is that awful thing called paralysis, or we call it mm-hmm. paralysis by analysis. There's just so many freaking options out there. Someone wants to sell you an annuity. <laughs> Someone wants to say, hey, put my money with my brokerage firm. We're going to say some brokerage products. Your head just spins and then it's hard to make a decision at all. Well, it really is. And it's not just the plethora of investments that are out there, right? What about all these conflicts of interest we read about every day? You know, Wells Fargo is in the, in the news every week about something else they've done to- Poor Wells you know, Fargo. Oh my God. Yeah. They have the worst press of anyone on earth, I think at this point. Yeah. Last week, Bank of America tells their Merrill Lynch advisors that uh, their compensation will drop unless they pitch bank products. I mean, come on, what a conflict of interest. Yeah. And you think in this day and age where we have more transparency and we're trying to move to a place where you know investment advice is less biased, it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of shocking that you're seeing some of these big brokerage firms go to that model instead. But I think you know the big thing is, Bob, when you're thinking about all this stuff is, look, there's a lot of different ways to cut a cake. There's not one strategy that's the best strategy. There's a lot of different strategies that'll work. But I think the one thing your strategy has to consist of is it's got to be goal-based. Oh, it's got to be goal-based. And you have to understand what you own and know why you own it. If someone can't explain to you how that investment works in five seconds, you're the wrong investment. Yeah. And on top of that, how does it fit into you achieving your goals? If you can't articulate that or your advisor can't do that, that's a big problem. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, that's my problem. I don't have a real plan. I have a collection of investments. I don't really know if I'm getting the best advice. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will leave a slot for you to run our famous total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. We'll make the planning process simple. Simply just take your statements, throw them in a folder, bring them in the office. We'll go through everything for you. We'll put everything into a personalized portal, one login, so you can see your whole financial life. And then we're going to look at all the critical components of your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. What risk do you have in your portfolio? Are you prepared if we have another market correction? We're going to show you where all those risks are in your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Do you have a lot of high-cost brokerage products, mutual funds, insurance, annuities? We're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. What income do you need for retirement? Can we fill that income gap by optimizing or increasing the income on your portfolio? And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you saved over 200,000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob, I'm with my son, Rye. We're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. With a constantly changing financial landscape, having a written, customized plan is more important than ever. Turn to the team at Paying Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692 to schedule a complimentary financial review. That's 844-752-6692. 
Find out how to better prepare for your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Managing Director and Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management. Markets headed higher this week, led by the Russell 2000 Index of Small Company Stocks and the NASDAQ 100, also known as the Tech Index, both reaching all-time record highs. Both indices were driven higher by the strength in growth stocks, this year's big leader. But value stocks also had a strong week as the financial sector caught a bid and rose higher, boosted in part by a rise in the yield of the benchmark 10-year Treasury bond. Rising rates reflect stronger economic growth, and the U.S. economy continues to barrel along. The Atlanta Fed early last week raised their forecast for second quarter real GDP growth to get this to a rate of 4.8%. Now, according to the household survey, the number of full-time employees rose a whopping 904,000 last month. That's a new record high. Manufacturers have increased average overtime weekly hours from a year ago, and aggregate weekly hours worked for all private industries rose to a record in May, up 2.2% year over year. This all augurs well for consumer spending, and of course, for the GDP, since consumer spending makes up two-thirds of our domestic gross domestic product. Now, investors will continue to react to developments surrounding trade policy and tariffs. So don't be surprised to see the market experience continued volatility. Now, trying to time the short-term corrections always results in tears. And as you've seen all this year, bull market declines come and go very fast. You want to continue to take advantage of the buying opportunities that market pullback presents. And you don't want to miss out on the gains that come in a big, booming bull market. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built to win in this volatile environment? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Drinking your hand and your toes in the sand. Now, that's a very cool way to work on your retirement planning. And that is just what you can do with Payne Capital Management, as they also have offices in North and South Florida. So stop in and see them when you're on vacation and tell them Ron sent you. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to keep it simple for you because we're simple men. And that's why we put together our latest video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a simple, easy baseline to get you started with the retirement planning process, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, to 555-888. Check it out. It's a simple video course, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's a three-part course. It's simple. It's easy. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And in this segment, we're going to talk about one of the greatest rockers of all time, retirement planning with Mick Jagger. So Bob, back in 1969, Mick sang, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. And I can't prove it, but I suspect Mick was singing about having a long-term financial plan where if you save some money you can start to achieve some of your financial milestones later in life. What do you think? Well, I think it's a great song, and, and I'll never forget my freshman English class, Rye. The first essay that I had to write was based on this title. Is that right? I didn't know that. Yep. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. a cool statistic. Uh, it turned out my English teacher was quite a rocker. <laughs> I have a feeling maybe he wasn't talking about planning, though. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think it applies, though. I mean, it, when you think about it, you know, you, you will find out what you need. You know, it's like, hey, look. If you're not aspirational, you don't dream big, you know, your plan's not going to be so exciting. Very true. Very true. Well, believe it or not, 
a lot of things that Mick said over the years have been pretty wise, and we can actually use them in our financial life. And one quote that he said many years ago was, the past is a great place, and I don't want to erase it or regret it, but I don't want to be a prisoner to it either. Hmm. That's uh, very poetic. Very poetic. And I think what he means by that is, look, I mean, we've all made bad financial decisions in the past, right? Whether it was we had too much money in the markets when the crash happened in 2008 to maybe not saving enough. But the reality of it is we are where we are today and we got to base our plans on where we're going to be going, not where we were. Oh, you know, it's so true, right? I just read a book about the great investors and not the best investment they made, but the worst investment they made. And you know who was a really bad investor? It was Mark Twain. Is that right? Yeah. If he didn't make bad decisions, he probably wouldn't have made any decisions. And most of those <laughs> were emotional. It's urban legend, but he supposedly turned down Alexander Graham Bell, thought his, his idea was folly. <laughs> well, that telephone never really took off, did it? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, when it comes to investing, if you don't fail, you can't be a successful investor. There's nobody who makes nothing but great decisions. And as we say, you know, my favorite Bobism, it's okay to be wrong. It's not okay to stay wrong. That's right. And the main thing I think, you know, I could even say, Bob, in our own experience, we've made every decision about money that was good and bad over the years. We have the scars to prove it. And that's kind mm -hmm. of the thing with our process is we've got it down to a science just because we've made so many mistakes along the way that we've refined things to a point where there's probably not, I don't want to jinx it, but there's probably not much that we haven't seen moving into the future. Given well, our How many meetings have you and I sat in where are they you say, no, you don't want to do that. We did that 10 years ago. We did that 15 years ago. We did that 20 years ago. Here's how badly it ends. It's kind um, of sad. I feel like I'm in the business way too long. <laughs> well, I think each of my gray hairs is accounted by one of the mistakes we made in uh, investing <laughs> over those last 40 years. But, uh, yeah. you know, you can't have wisdom without some time involved. That's right. That's right. And another great Sir Mick quote would be, lose your dreams and you might lose your mind. Oh, man. So true. I mean, it's uh, what else is it to live for but the dreams? The dreams of your family, dreams of your success, your retirement, your children, your grandchildren. Life's all about dreaming. And, you know, planning is something where you can't have a financial plan. It's not based on dreams. Yeah. And that's the fun part of the financial planning process. Yes, there is a fun part, right? It's not just all dollars and cents. And what am I going to pay this month for the cable bill? You know, one of the things I like to do when we sit down is just say, hey, let's get aspirational. Like I sat down with a guy who's going to retire in the next year or two, and he was talking about how he's going to take a four-month trip as soon as he retires in two years, and he's just going to say he's going to go off the grid is the way he said mm -hmm. it. You know, no wow. cell phone, him and his wife, they're just going to go away. And that's the kind of fun things to talk about. And when you start talking about them, we can actually start putting a plan around that. And that's actually you know, one of the unsaid things that are actually the exciting part of the financial planning process, if I can use that word. Yeah, but I bet you Facebook will be able to find them. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Nowadays, yeah, it's really hard to hide. Um, well, that's the whole thing, Rob. With your dreams, with your investments, you have to act with the end in mind. You have to make every decision based on achieving those dreams, of course, with the least amount of risk and with some certainty. Yeah, exactly. And talking about certainty... Uh, another Sir Mick quote he said many years ago was, it's all right letting yourself go as long as you can get yourself back. <laughs> it's okay, right, to live with the volatility of the market, right? And it's also okay to make mistakes. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, the other thing is you got to remember, you know, time needs to be on your side. Another Stone's quote, time is on mm -hmm. my side. But let's face it. As you get close to retirement and retirement, time is not on your side anymore. So you can't afford to take the same risk because, hey, the market has a big crash or correction and you still have 20 years to make it up, no problem. But those days are gone. So now you have to get a lot more stringent about the risk management in your portfolio. And you're making that mistake every day. People are keeping the portfolio that got out of there. Remember, you can create wealth through concentration, but you keep wealth through diversification and you're not diversified as well as you should be right now, especially after a nine-year big booming bull market. Yeah, I would say one of the number one ailments that you have right now in your portfolio is even if you have accounts with five different brokers, you're probably not that diversified. And that's one of the dirty little secrets of the investment worlds is most people recommend the same thing. So you end up not really having a diversified portfolio. And if you're sitting there asking yourself, you're not sure you're going to get what you need. 
Well, you can give Mick Jagger a call or you can give us a call. If you're one of the next few callers and you have at least 200000 saved for your retirement, Rye and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but if you're one of the next few callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to have our CPA partner review your current tax return. We're going to look at your legal docs. We're going to look at your wills and your trust, your beneficiary forms, just to be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the dreaded IRS. And lastly, we want to review all of your investment statements to make sure that you're not taking more risk than necessary to be certain that you have a portfolio that's built to win. And we just finished the month of May. Those statements are on your desk. Grab a shopping bag, throw them in. You don't have to open them. We'll do all the heavy lifting. We'll do all the work. We'll take all that information regardless of where the investments are custodied and put it into a simple three-page spreadsheet which will analyze your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of success, diversification, fees, and income. We want to make certain that you have a properly diversified portfolio, cross asset classes, as well as within asset classes. Hidden costs, they're the things that cause us to overcharge ourselves. Let's be certain you're not being overcharged by your portfolio. And lastly, let's look at that income gap. You want to have a more dependable income flow from your portfolio, whether you're in retirement or whether you're planning to retire someday. And lastly, we're gonna tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. We wanna help take your family from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, do it with the highest odds of success and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now, 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement and you're one of the next 10 callers, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a second opinion. Make sure you're doing everything right. Give us a call or text 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Game Financial Radio. Time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what did you find out there this week in the profane world of financial pornography? Well, Brian, I don't know if you know this or not, but the Russell 2000 Index, this is all the small company stocks that are traded publicly in the US, hit an all-time record high this week. That is something probably most of us don't know. But yeah, I mean, small company stocks are at their highest level ever, which is crazy to think about. I mean, that's that's a bull market there, Bobby. And you also had mid-capitalization growth stocks at an all-time record high, large capitalization growth stocks at an all-time record high. And Apple is closing in on becoming the first trillion-dollar company in stock market capitalization. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Oh, it really is amazing. Here's the most amazing thing. Morgan Stanley told their clients this week that we're in a bear market, but you just don't realize it. I'm confused. If everything's going to record highs, how are we in a bear market or a down market, as we would say? Well, I I feel bad for this analyst or strategist because he's predicting that by the end of the year, which is six months from now, we're going to be at 2750 on the S&P 500, which um, is already over 2800 for the year. So I think they made a big mistake. Huh. Yeah, they're not a little wrong. They're dead wrong, as you would say, Bob. Well, they're telling their investors that they believe that the next recession, whenever it comes, is going to be deeper, that uh, they're afraid of inflation. And here's the big thing. They think there's going to be an uncertain political outlook. (laughs) Is there ever a certain political outlook? I mean, does that exist? Maybe in a utopia, but not on this mortal coil. Well, you know what I've learned over 43 years, Ry? is that if you are waiting for all the uncertainty to go away, if you're waiting for certainty, you will never, ever invest in the financial markets. 
Right. And the great irony of investing is the more uncertainty, the more opportunity. So the more dire things look, and it sounds very counterintuitive, and the more bleak the outlook looks or the negativity out there tends to be the best time to be an, an investor. The time to be nervous is when everyone feels good, they've got the rosy colored sunglasses on, and they're getting very bullish or very, very optimistic. At some point, that becomes actually a detriment to you as an investor, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of reverse psychology when it comes to your money. Well, this is why it's dangerous, because someone, just like back in the 90s when the Federal Reserve Chief Greenspan came out and said that the market was exhibiting irrational exuberance, well, the market doubled from there. So you're going to have a Morgan Stanley investor who might panic and sell out of the market now. Market keeps going up. What are they going to do when the market hits all-time record highs and all the other indices? Right? They're going to panic buy in. How's that end? In tears, Bob, in tears. And this is what makes the market, right? You have people like us who have been bullish you know, since 2009. And then so you need some contrarians to make us look good, I guess. I don't know. Hey, we need everyone in the world to help us look good. <laughs> we know the help we can get. <laughs> But no, I think there's two very important principles here that you have to apply to your portfolio. Number one, an all or none strategy is never a good strategy. You know, you never want to make an all or none bet on where the world's going. What we call it, you want to have an all weather portfolio where you're prepared for anything that could happen, right? Because at the end of the day, the future is unknowable. So you got to be prepared for everything. And I think the second important point there is. Instead, you want a strategy that's based on your goals, where you want to go, which has nothing to do with what an economist, some analyst on Wall Street thinks. The second thing is, it's time in the market, not timing the market. The real value to being an investor is being invested for a long period of time because your money's compounding. It pays interest. It pays dividends. Remember, cash pays nothing. So, you know, two really important things you need to evaluate when it comes to your portfolio. You know what it is, right? These, uh, These traders, these people try to time the market. You know, they're trading for pennies. They want, they're trying to make pennies. Long-term investors are all about making dollars. And yeah. you can make smart decisions based on, you know, investing on your goals, being patient, but investing for the big reward, not for the short-term pennies. Hey, Bob, I like making dollars, man, not pennies. <laughs> <laughs> so I found some disturbing statistics out there this week in the uh, financial media. And the most disturbing statistic I found, Bob, was that bond funds, which you know we don't like because if rates go up, bond prices go down. And if you're in a bond fund, you're going to see that thing sell off just like stocks. It's not pretty. And the statistic I found is more than $1 trillion has gone into bond funds since 2011. So that means as interest rates have gone down, investors have put lots of money into bond funds because they think they're safe. But as you and I know, as rates start to go back up and interest rates are going up, it's a very bad place to be. It's like a ticking time bomb. Yeah, I even saw some of these were short-term bond funds, supposedly. But uh, that's where rates have been rising the most, in the front end of the yield curve. So as much as the bond funds are down already year to date, short-term bond funds, which these investors thought were safe, are down even more. Unbelievable, right? It, it, it's, it always works the way you don't want it to work when it comes to bond funds. And this also is disturbing to me because one dangerous thing when it comes to investing is whatever the herd or what everybody's doing with their money is usually a dangerous thing. There's mm-hmm. an old quote, when you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. <laughs> this is Especially one of those times. In financial markets. Yeah, because the problem is as rates go up and now think about all those other investors just like you that are in that same bond fund, they're all going to want to sell when you're going to want to sell. And when that happens, you're going to get a mass exodus, and that's going to bring the value of your portfolio down significantly in an investment that you thought was safe. Very bad move. And we're not saying that uh, bonds are bad. You know, you need bonds that have what we call permanence and definition, right? You need a, a fixed income investment. To me, is something with a fixed income, right? You need a fixed coupon, an actual rate that you know you're going to earn on your money, and a specific date when you're going to get your money back. I always found that you need to have a portfolio that is hedging against all risk. And the only way to hedge against that, right, is to have money that comes due. That's right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I have bond funds. I don't have a game plan for retirement. I don't know where I'm going. I'm basing it off of financial pornography. 
Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will leave a slot open for you and run our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that analyzes all the big issues. So just bring in your statements. The easiest way is throw them in a folder. We'll go through everything for you to take the headaches out of the financial planning process. We're going to load everything into a personalized portal for you so we can review your whole portfolio in its entirety. And we're going to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Do you have a lot of high cost brokerage products? Do you have annuities, mutual funds? We're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? Do you own a lot of bond funds that are going to be a big problem as interest rates go up? Where, If the market corrects or crashes like it did in 2008, is it protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. What is your income gap? What kind of income does your portfolio generate? Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you can fill in your income gap for retirement. Then what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we've been perfecting for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't miss out. Give us a call or text 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but you'll have no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone, gird your loins. Let's find out. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, and Bob and I are simple men with common sense, or at least we like to think, and we like to keep it simple for you with common sense strategies for your own planning and investing, and that's why we've put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, a simple baseline to get the planning process started. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. We've made it really simple, get you in the retirement planning mindset. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's a three part series, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob and see how handsome Bob really is and that hair is real, you can check us out. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And you can even subscribe to the show, which comes out weekly. And you can catch me most weeks on CNBC, Fox Business News, with appearances talking about the market. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And like every week, we got some great questions. And to help us answer those questions, we have our producer, Mark Haywood, the man behind the scenes who keeps it all together to help us out this morning. Good morning, Mark. How you doing, buddy? Good morning, gentlemen. I am battling a cold, but the show must go on, as they say. Well, I know you're down in North Carolina, so I figured the bourbon's the only way to uh, get rid of that cold. A little bourbon and honey, a southern tradition, if there ever was one. <laughs> I'm glad you waited till after the show to, to drink that, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's for uh, post-show festivities. Well, we do have some good questions that have come in out of the mailbag this morning. Let's start off with Albert in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Albert says, Bob, should I start my Social Security at 62 to help pay off my house before I retire? Albert, that's a loaded question. There's a lot of things we need to know before we can help you with that decision. Number one, how old are you now? And what is the mortgage rate that you're paying on your mortgage? You know, Rye, I mean, I I seem to get this question almost daily 
from you know our clients. They want to know when's the best time to take Social Security and should I pay that mortgage off? I mean, what's the best solution you can have? Oh man! Well, first off, we've said this a lot on the show. It's you know everybody's situation is a little bit different, and that's why we've actually we have a calculator to run some more sophisticated numbers. So it really depends on hey, are you still working? If you're not working, you know you're not going to be penalized to take Social Security early. How old is your spouse? Because God forbid something happens to you, is your spouse covered? So you know I think the long story short is Bob for the most part. It really depends on your specific situation and taxes. I mean, I mean Social Security is, is a lot more complex than people think. For example, we used to be able to take that, you know, take the Social Security early for a spouse and then suspend it, and they did away with that rule. But now, for example, if you have a spouse who is entitled, you know, to a higher level than yours, you can actually get half of the benefits. There's a spousal benefit that I find that you don't know about. Yeah, that's what actually we're doing for you and mom that we didn't that we wouldn't have known unless you and I had run the numbers on it. The other thing too is I think a lot of times it is better to take it early depending on your situation. Like if you stop working before you're 66, there's a good case to take it early because your break even point a lot of times is close to age 80 if you wait to take it to 66. And so we like to say, Bob, how lucky do you feel? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, Ryan, I think that the majority, I mean, almost half. Of retirees take their social security at 62 without doing any analysis at all. It's really a personal decision. Sometimes it might make sense to wait till your full retirement age because then if you're still working, you know, you don't have to worry about the the taxes as much as when you're 62. So there really are a lot of issues. But what about mortgages, right? What if you have a fixed mortgage at three and a quarter percent? Should you pay that off or should you keep your money working in a well diversified portfolio? Well, the, the math is keep the money in the diversified portfolio. But again, we've talked a lot about being invested to the sleep point. If you want to get rid of your debt a lot of times, just get rid of it. If it's going to make you stay up at night, it might be better off to pay it off just because of peace of mind. So there's the emotional aspect to some of these decisions as well. Well, they're the two biggest reasons why you need a financial plan. When should I take my social security and how should I handle my mortgage debt if indeed you have some? All right. Thanks for the question, Albert. Now let's move on to Diana and Rye, New York. This question is for Ryan, oddly enough. Ryan, Ryan. See what I did there? Huh, I like it. I digress. Uh, this question is for Ryan. Diana says, Ryan, I've heard about a strategy using life insurance to create income for yourself in retirement. Is this a legitimate strategy? Oh, boy, Diane, We're definitely going out of the rabbit hole with this question. We talk all the time about your income gap in retirement, and it's, it's pretty simple, right? You stop working. You don't have that money coming in anymore. And hopefully you have Social Security coming in and above and beyond that, maybe a pension. And then you have this gap between what you need to live on and what measly income's coming in, which is a lot less than when you were working. So the question is, how do you take your financial assets and create an income that you cannot live? Let's face it, Bob, annuities are sold or pitched all the time as a way to create guaranteed income in retirement. And I put the word guarantee in quotes. Well, that's a big thing that bothers me from the life insurance industry because they throw that word guarantee around, which is not proper because it's guaranteed by a company, not by the government. You know, the only fully backed investment for the full faith and credit of the U.S. government is a U.S. government bond. And that's why the rates on bonds, government bonds are so low. An insurance company is a company and companies fail. I mean, and companies can go out of business. So to, first of all, that guaranteed is wrong, right? Flat out wrong. And on top of that, a lot of these guarantees are based on, hey, you get all the market upside or you get a guaranteed 6% return with no downside risk. And even that's a little bit deceiving because a lot of times these annuities are built so you don't really get the upside in the market because of the math on these things and how they're built. So it, it becomes a very slippery slope when you start to break down out how these things actually work. The pitch just sounds so much better than how they make the sausage in the back. Yeah, right. I mean, it's, uh, these are very complex instruments. And just, you know, something if you're looking for income, I mean, why wouldn't you have a diversified portfolio of double A municipal bonds where you're getting four and a quarter percent tax free? And your downside is you get all of your money back with interest at maturity. So you have a set maturity date, you have a set rate of return, and you have liquidity. If you have an emergency, you can get some or all of your money within a week or within a day. Yeah, that's the part that gets me. And this is why it's so important to understand that these 
pitches sound so much better than when you get down into the, the dirty details of how some of these products work. And giving up liquidity in retirement, it, to me, is one of the big ones that you want to try to avoid. I think the simplest solution, Ryan, is always to look at an insurance company and see what do they do with the money after you give it to them. They invest it in a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds. If it's good enough for the insurance company, I think it's got to be good enough for you. Right. When I look at Albert and Diana, on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized do you think they were? I suspect they're like a three, Bob, real low. If we could get them on the phone right now and ask them on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized would they like to be? What do you think they'd tell us? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? Absolutely. And if you'd like to be a 10 in terms of being financially organized, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers. As long as you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement. Ryan and I will create for you one holistic view of everything that you own and help you to understand why you own it. Not only will we be able to look at your portfolio in real time on a daily basis, you'll also be able to see how you're tracking towards each specific goal and dream that you articulate in your financial plan. On top of that, we're going to have our CPA partner review your current tax return to make certain that you're not paying any unnecessary taxes. We're going to have our estate planning attorney review your wills, your trust, your beneficiary forms. You want to be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we want to review all of your portfolios. Now, it takes a lot of time and effort to get this together, so we want to do all the work for you. All you need to do is take those monthly statements, whether they're opened or unopened, stick them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone, make an appointment. We're going to break down your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful portfolio diversification, fees, income. You want to be certain that you're diversified across all asset classes, that you don't have any hidden costs in your portfolio so that you're being overcharged by your own portfolio. We want to make sure that you're getting a cash flow that will help you fill that income gap once you're retired, or if you're in retirement, be able to stay retired. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized view which will answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now that my family's been perfecting for over 40 years. We want to help take your family from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, do it with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now, 844 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a full holistic review at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word cash, that's C-A-S-H, cash, to 844 752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we like to keep it simple, as you know. We're from Philadelphia, so we want to keep it simple for you. And if you want to get our latest course on creating an income that you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, bullish to 555-888. That's text the word bullish to 555-888. It's a simple three-part series 
just to get you started, get you moving with the financial planning process, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. You can get it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And in this segment of the show, my favorite segment, we have our star financial advisor, my brother, Bob Sun, Mr. Chris Payne. Good morning, brother. What's shaking on this good morning, brother. weekend? How are you? It's good to be here. You know, I can't argue with the fact that I am the star. <laughs> so, Chris, <laughs> this is our spotlight segment where we actually dissect a real financial plan and we just talk about some of the issues that some pre-retirees or retirees are having with their investing and planning. And you worked on a case recently. Why don't you give us the rundown on it and some of the things that you did to make sure that this couple was retirement ready? Yeah, absolutely, right. So I've come up with a new slogan, and that slogan is, you get a better outcome with income. And this is Ooh, definitely the case like for this individual who I met with uh, several weeks ago. This person came into our office with the fear that she would never be able to retire and that she would be working forever. And the first for thing I, I want to say about this is that well, a lot of people have this idea that they're never going to be able to retire. They're going to have to work forever. And that's really just a product of the fact that they never sat down and gone through a comprehensive financial plan. So that's exactly what we did for this person. And what we found out is that not only would she be able to retire, but if she stopped working and didn't save a dime from today forward, she would be set for life. How'd she feel about that? That's a nice feeling. After thinking you weren't going to be able to retire at all, that's kind of reassuring in my book. Very reassuring. And uh, you know, I think almost to the point where she didn't quite believe it until I really started to walk her through the numbers. And you know, really what I said was, you know, you can retire with the following caveat. So when we went through her portfolio, what we found is that more than 50% of her liquid assets were sitting in cash, getting less than a 1% return. So the first thing that we established is that we, and we all agreed that this money needed to be invested. The That's next thing we found out was that if she gets her money properly invested, just the income, so just the interest and dividends portion of her portfolio would provide more than half of the income that she would need to cover her retirement needs. Yeah, it's all about income. And if you can show someone like, hey, you got your social security coming in, we can create just enough income without you touching principal on your portfolio to live on. I mean, that's huge. That's a big win when it comes to building your retirement plan. Well, I think it makes a big difference, Chris, that probably anybody else that she met with, it was a salesman's pitch against her fear. You know, it's just their words against her fear. Here, you're able to show the actual portfolio, what the returns will be, the income streams, not just today, but every year for the rest of her life, net of inflation, net of taxation. I mean, that's that makes all the difference, I believe, in helping people to overcome that fear to make these decisions. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? In, in fact, she had actually met with another advisor and they didn't even run through a financial plan. They didn't even lay out you know, what kind of level of risk that she's going to need, you know, what kind of income she's going to need in retirement. None of that was done. You know, it was basically oh, yeah. just a cookie cutter, typical Wall Street portfolio that they were presenting. That's the red flag right there, right? If you're going to sit down with a quote unquote financial planner, which means probably some product specialist who wants to sell you a product, if you're not running retirement projections first or establishing your goals first before you get into the actual investments, big, big red flag. That's a problem. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the other thing too that I found really interesting was that she thought, well, you know, if I'm going to be able to retire, that means I have to get very aggressive in my portfolio. And in fact, what we found was the complete opposite. She actually mm. could take a lot less risk than she anticipated and still be successful and reaching her goals. It's not surprising, Chris. You know, you take way more risk in your portfolio than necessary. We find that all the time. Well, I think and yeah, also it just goes to show, Dad, that, you know, taking more risk doesn't necessarily give you a better outcome. No, that's for sure. What if you took all that risk right at the peak of the market in 2007 or 2008? And I don't think well, I know anybody that wants to take that big of a hit, a 40% hit. I think <laughs> I think taking less risk in that situation is certainly better. Yeah, and, and I have sometimes to just, people just don't know, Chris, and that's uh, that's what you found here. Well, I think it also ties into another point that I think we a lot of us are experienced is we have all this money sitting in cash. A lot of it's out of fear, especially after 2008. But now you feel like you're between a rock and a hard place. Like there's this, we talk about this all or none solution where I've got to get this money invested, but then it's going to go on the market. And if the market corrects, then I'm going to lose money. I'm not going to be able to retire. You don't need an all or none strategy. You know, you can build a lot of conservative investments in your portfolio that pay a heck of a lot better than just sitting in cash, earning nothing. 
And that's really got to be in the mix. So to your point, Chris, there's a conservative solution for your money sitting in cash where you're going to generate income and you can live comfortably in retirement and you don't have to worry about a big market correction the day you're going to retire or the day you get the money invested. Absolutely. Well, you know, Ryan, the, the market's never gone to zero. And, and to quote dad, the world doesn't end very often. <laughs> now, it reminds me, guys, of the, uh, a Wall Street Journal cartoon I saw years and years ago. And it showed someone sitting in their easy chair reading the Wall Street Journal. And the quote balloon came up over their head and said, well, should I get all my money invested in the market and then therefore cause it to crash? Or should <laughs> I just sit out on the sidelines and watch everybody else get rich? Oh, I, I mean, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> I just think that's the way everybody thinks. It's like, uh, you know, if I'm going to, as soon as I invest, market's going to drop. But it's, you know, we're not investing in a market. We're investing in markets, right? There's the diversification means you're invested in so many different markets. And I think being able to show somebody that, especially on the fixed income side, Chris, you know, they're going to have a portfolio of, of fixed bonds, high quality bonds with good coupons where they're going to get interest, but they're going to get their money back. And they're going to be able to try over and over again. I mean, the one thing about getting your money back is you get to try again. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we said that and and to quote time. our bond manager, bonds are a self-healing asset class. I love that. That's a great line. Yeah. Well, great job, Chris, on this. As Bob would say, another financial masterpiece. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to figure out what to do with my cash. I need a solution. That's not all or none. I got to get serious about my planning. Here's your shot to do it. Myself, Bob, and Chris Payne, all the pains. If you're one of the next few callers, we have a couple slots left, and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a review just like this. Simply bring in your statements, make it easy on yourself. Just stick them into a folder. We'll go through everything. We're going to build you a personalized portal so we can give you an entire holistic view of your whole financial picture, and we're going to look at all the critical components of your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. What kind of high cost investments do you have in your portfolio? Brokerage products. Are you being overcharged on your investments? We're going to show you how to reduce cost. We're going to look at diversification. Are you sitting with too much cash? Do you have bond funds? Is your portfolio attached to your goals or are you winging it? We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio and build a bulletproof portfolio that's going to get you through retirement. And we're going to look at income. Income so critical in retirement. Cash pays nothing right now. How do we optimize the income on your portfolio to make sure that you have income that you can't outlive? Then we're going to tie it all together into a total financial master plan, and we're going to determine that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money, or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you using strategies our family has worked on for four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Don't miss out. We have a few slots left. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, we will run for you your own total financial masterpiece. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. 6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great show. Great to have an all-pain weekend. Thanks for being on the show there, Chris. We appreciate it, brother. Hey, man. It's always good to be here. Dad, it's always a pleasure. And uh, just remember, be bullish. It's always good to be together with the pain boys. You stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have all the fun. <laughs> hey, who said? Uh, all right, guys. Well, great show. Great weekend. And as always, I'm going to say it now, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.